Hello you what's his faces, welcome back to another video. Tygon here, and we're not in season 4. Um, a lot of people are thinking that we are, but we're not. This is just part 2 of season 3. So if you were like basing everything, like this particular battle pass, or whether it was good or not, like, oh this battle pass sucks, or season 4 battle pass sucks, it's not really season 4, it's just part 2 of the season three so one we're just getting way more content because as you guys remember we used to have 100 tiers and so now we have 50 tiers for each little section and you get one way more content and then on top of that you just don't it's, it doesn't feel as long so for this particular time period we, we have more time so if you guys wanted to rank up and potentially i guess get the battle royale yellow um snake skin which i think i might still do but i still have the og merc 5 so i don't know maybe i will maybe i won't but as you guys can see yeah we still have it's still season three so i guess if i since i'm here i'm just gonna go through the particular season three stuff and see if i like it or not uh, but yeah, that was basically my announcement for you guys. So don't worry. We're still in season three season four is coming soon But until then, uh, yeah, this is a pretty I feel like it's a pretty cool season So I guess first off we have like the MW11 McTavish and then the AK7117 McTavish the I, I just hope or I wish that they would put like more snipers in the battle pass That's the only thing but other than that. I think the stuff in here looks pretty cool. It's, it looks yeah, it looks pretty cool and then let's continue let's scroll on you do get the urban tracker everyone's going crazy on reddit about this skin and then we have this the color spectrum knife which i do really like it looks freaking epic but i it reminds me of the karambit and it makes me want them to put another karambit in the game i just hope they do that and then of course um you have this bramble skin i think that's how you pronounce it all throughout the uh, battle pass but it does look pretty dope let's inspect it a little bit more you see mm -hmm. yeah it looks like magenta and then teal oh wow if you look at it it looks like uh uh like thorns or whatever and then the camo on the back that looks pretty cool but yeah we basically have all of this throughout the season or the battle pack well not season let me not <laughs> mix myself up just like everyone else was but uh yeah it looks like a pretty dope skin <laughs> freaking s36 i don't know why they're pushing they're giving it to everyone so early like what's the point of grinding up for weapons if they're just gonna give it to everyone so early you know or i don't know but this looks freaking epic the rus 79u I, it's so weird calling it the, the Rust 79U instead of the AKS, but I guess it's now the Rust. So I guess, uh, I don't know, I probably need to retitle all my older videos if anyone's looking for that. But this thing right here looks freaking amazing. If you look at it in the front, it low-key looks like a Warthog. And yeah, it, it really does look like a Warthog if you look at it directly from the front. And if you guys don't know what a Warthog is, it's like a pig and it, it, yeah, basically, it's basically like a pig with tusk. Think of Pumbaa from Madagascar not madagascar i'm the lion king so uh the next thing is i guess the ace asm 10 brambles i cannot say that fast it just mixes me up so bad but yeah these are some pretty good cool, cool skins i wish they had it on the um on a sniper that would be dope and speaking of snipers they actually added the phobo skin to the locust and i'm like oh why um, the locust is an okay gun but i wish they would have put it on the dlq33 it, it would have been so epic imagine the dlq33 with a uh look with like the s36 phobo skin <laughs> my god that, i don't know where my brain went right there but yeah, imagine that with the s36 phobo skin it would look so freaking amazing and it would be a sniper that didn't break my one my rules for a good sniper so if you guys don't know if you go to let me go into my actual loadout i don't know what this video became but yeah let's go to my actual loadout real quick as you guys can see i have the dlq33 red action but i don't use it and that's because this particular sniper i guess i'm kind of explaining the reason why i don't use it now um it looks one it looks freaking epic it looks amazing but one there's like a black bar whenever you scope in so let me actually just go ahead oh it's kind of where you guys are gonna be hearing that let me uh turn the volume down just a little bit uh let's go into just a random match where we're with some bots so we can get one fast i feel these matches just you get them so fast and then it takes a long time <laughs> but i usually i get them like less than 10 seconds i guess one because half the team is bots but then the other half are actual people so i guess a lot of people do 
played the practice versus AI. But um, yeah, let's get into it. So, as you guys will see when we hop in, uh, do I even have it equipped as a class? Okay, yeah. If you scope in, there is a black. Stop dancing. There is a black bar at the very bottom, and that right there, one is one of my pet peeves about this particular um sniper because it, it looks so nice, but then there's that black bar, and then everything on the sides. If you guys look at it, it's not just a regular scope, and the problem with that for a sniper is all of this it's blocking your view especially when you want to do a flick shot you're missing all of this information and it doesn't seem like a lot but it is a lot in the moment on top of that I don't know what but like whenever I play I feel like I'm losing like I don't know if the aim assist feels off it just feels different than the other snipers and then on top of that it feels slower so I don't know what it is but this sniper just feels off now it's the same thing with the other DLQ3 sniper, the um the Christmas one that had the nice effects and stuff. That looks amazing too, especially the scope. It has the most beautiful scope I've ever seen in a mobile game. The way it zooms in is pure magic. Like they did a really good job on that. But on top of that, it just still feels weird. I want a DLQ33 sniper that doesn't mess up the actual sniper. It basically in my opinion right now the best sniper is this particular sniper the red sniper that have the um i forget the name the lunar new year i and i wish i actually had that lunar new year skin they would have been dope if they kept it around for a little bit longer but yeah so that's the sniper i think is the best because one it looks freaking amazing and then two on top of it you can actually still use it like you would if you were like a hardcore quick scope or a hardcore sniper because there's two different ways people play there's of course um someone that just snipes and then there's someone that quick scopes and you know plays the sniper like a sniper it's kind of weird but there's a difference between someone that can just pick up a sniper and use it and then there and someone that actually mains the sniper as their um go-to or as something they would be doing for like i don't know rank so there's a difference but anyway i just really do wish they would actually um add a sniper that doesn't interfere with your actual gameplay with any other weapon it, it won't really interfere with your gameplay so for example if we go into the disavowed i know i'm going on a tangent this has nothing to do with the original thing but if you're still here what's up i guess this is like a little bonus thing because you guys have been asking me why i didn't really like the red action and i don't use it but yeah no other pro sniper really uses the red action but you see this the rus 74u viking when if you were to be shooting this it wouldn't really mess up how you're using the gun just because of the type of gun it is and it, this looks freaking epic like this might be the best skin in the game for gun um, for guns so far but um so yeah that won't really mess and the, and they give it for like five dollars that's really nice but um yeah that won't really mess up the particular oh my god i didn't even see the viking helmet right there that looks freaking dope <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, that won't actually mess up the way you play, but the red action does mess up the way you play. So if they have the Phobos skin like on this DLQ33, made it blue or made it green, that would look epic. And then on top of it, since the Phobos skin doesn't really have anything that sticks out, it's just an animation within the actual skin, I think that would look really nice and it would be pretty dope. But uh, I kind of went on a tangent. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is not season three, but the ranked is still up there, so you guys can go rank up in uh, multiplayer. I hit legendary multiplayer first, so I can then go ahead and hit master two in battle royale. I'm probably gonna be grinding that a lot. And yeah, so peace out, guys. I don't wanna. <laughs> if you made it to this the very end, I guess you got the bonus of me telling why I don't really like the DLQ33 red action. But yeah, basically, it makes you play worse. The aim assist feels off and you're missing a lot of information especially there's a freaking black bar in, in the middle of it and then i mean it's a hundred dollar gun so like i feel, feel kind of bad but uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed peace out let me stop rambling <laughs>